Beautiful. Thanks for that, Dakota. Of course, we're talking election as we get closer and closer, 15 days away. Now we've got Dr. Joe Morris from Mercyhurst University with us again this Monday morning. And it's been such an interesting race to watch. It, it most certainly has. And, you know, we're entering this, this phase where we are in the 11th hour. And yeah. uh, candidates are doing everything they can to get that vote out. Yeah, we see Donald Trump going to McDonald's and serving up food. We see him at a Steelers game. We see Kamala at church. Tell me, what, what is the strategy here for these candidates, and is it effective? Yeah, you know, I talk to my students about, jokingly, about what we call the beer factor. And the idea here is, is that candidates at the end of the day, or I'm sorry, voters at the end of the day, will sit down and say, which one of these candidates would I rather sit down and have a beer uh. with? We want candidates who are in just like us and going to a football game or putting on a McDonald's uniform. For some voters, that matters a great deal. Absolutely. Something a little bit more relatable. Absolutely. So 15 days to go. Undecided voters, of course, people are trying to, to convince at this point. Do you think there are truly undecided voters out there, or do you think most people know what they're doing? Well, even the national polls tell us that the number of undecided voters are <clears throat> relatively few. And I think what their candidates really are doing right now is focusing less on those undecided voters and trying to just turn their base out. Everything that the candidates are doing right now is an effort to get people excited, pump up that enthusiasm level so people go to the polls. Because at the end of the day, this election is going to be won by voters. And it's not necessarily the undecided, it's more the less than motivated to get the, to the polls voters that they need to convince. The, that's absolutely right. And we see it uh, in just about everything the candidates are doing. The, the fact that there are no undecided voters is relatively strange in presidential elections. Normally, at this point, we're still out there trying to get those undecided voters. But let's face it, Kamala Harris is a vice president. Donald Trump was a former president. People know these voters, mm -hmm. and there's a big difference between the two. Are there any issues to focus on that really could make it or break it for either of the candidates? Well, I've often said that Donald Trump is, he would, I think, do well to talk about issues uh, mm -hmm. because voters uh, want to hear that. But the reality of it is, is that Donald Trump doesn't have anywhere to grow. He, his voters, we know who those people are, and he's got to turn those out. Kamala Harris still has a little bit of room to grow, I think. Uh, so if she does talk about issues, she may be able to peel away some of those voters that are not deeply attached to Donald Trump. Sure. And at the end of the day, that handful may matter. Thanks for watching it all happen with us. My pleasure. We're going to have Dr. Joe Morris back again next Monday to break down more election news for you. And we've got much more coming up here on Erie News Now Sunrise.